An important factor affecting yield is the size of the tree. But the relationship between tree size and yield can sometimes be overlooked, especially when dealing with sap collection from tubing systems, where the sap flow from individual trees isn't easily observed. So we know that yields generally increase with increasing tree size. The question is, how much more? Although there's a lot of variation, total yields increase by about a half pound of syrup equivalent for each inch increase in diameter. So keeping this relationship in mind can help better evaluate the potential yields of a particular stand or sugar bush. The annual yields from two different properties with a thousand taps could be really different depending on the average size of the trees. Of course, precise estimates aren't possible and yields are always going to be affected by other factors, including crown size, position in the canopy, health, genetic factors, weather, and site characteristics like soils and elevation. And it's important to remember that even though we use diameter as an indicator of size, it isn't the only factor that influences the relationship between tree size and yields. Crown size is extremely important. An open-grown tree with a large crown is likely to have higher yields than a forest-grown tree of the same diameter with a smaller crown. This also highlights the importance of thinning to promote the growth of crop trees. Giving a tree space and light to expand its crown not only increases its diameter growth rate, but also its capacity to produce and store sugar, and so ultimately its potential yields. The availability of clear conductive wood for tapping is another factor to consider about tree size and yields. We know that obtaining the maximum yield possible from an individual tree depends on successfully drilling a tap hole into conductive wood. Tapping into brown, stained wood, which isn't conductive to sap, will result in significantly reduced yields. Smaller trees also have less total volume in their tapping zones, and because of this, with smaller trees, there's an inherently increased risk of tapping into stained wood and obtaining reduced yields. Further, many smaller trees have their crowns lower than the main canopy. These intermediate or suppressed trees typically have much lower growth rates than their co-dominant and dominant neighbors, and so will accumulate non-conductive wood even more rapidly, making locating clean wood for tapping even more difficult and further increasing the likelihood of reduced yields. Ensuring good growth rates to add and maximize the amount of conductive wood in the tapping zone is yet another reason why practices to promote the growth of crop trees are so important to achieving optimum sap yields. And also further emphasizes the importance of tree size when developing overall strategies to maximize yields. Thank you.